Hello and welcome back to another video where I talk about a video I've already made. In this case we're talking about a custard rectangle aka the custard square but this one is dairy free so everyone with intolerances can enjoy life too. Anywho if you want to listen to the video without me talking about it and you just want to see me put it together click the link below there will be a little um, video that you can click on and you can watch it with some aesthetically pleasing music on top rather than me talking. If you want to listen to me ramble for the next two minutes stay. So I'll just put the little video in here. So it is a custard rectangle. So first we start off by making our custard. I always use a barista alternative milk. Personally, personal favorite is almond milk. Oat milk does work as well for this as long as it's a barista one. Otherwise the other ones seem to curdle because they don't have, I don't know, they can't withstand the temperature. So what I do is I put my custard powder in and a little bit of milk, mix it around so it's smooth and then add in my sugar and then I add in some more milk on top. Um, the quantities, I generally follow the instructions on the back of the custard powder. Every custard powder is different so follow those instructions. Um, and also I kind of put in a little bit extra custard powder but I just like to make sure it's going to set. It's going to set. Um, after that we melt our dairy free butter, again any dairy free butter is completely fine and then we're going to layer it up with phyllo, phyllo is dairy free, I buy it buy a pre-made one, never attempted to make my own, I don't know if I would make it thin enough. Um, continue stirring your custard while you're getting this layered up and ready. And then you'll see me here, we use four sheets of phyllo, I've got some other dairy free phyllo recipes, also check them out, they're just on my page, there's two more up, while well, I had the whole packet of phyllo, I was using it all, all up in one go. So what I did is I cut it in half, so kind of cut it to the size of your tray and then I'm just pulling it together now and the way I pull it together is just giving it all of those like layers so that it can crisp up. So we're going to put it in the tray. So once I've laid that up, I popped it in the oven for a few minutes to help it crisp up. Then I pulled it out and this is when I've tipped my custard on top and then I popped it back in the oven for another like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. Just see when your pastry underneath is kind of caramelized. It is a little bit floppy, um, but taste. We're going by taste. And this is just how I made the icing, which is just some icing sugar and some boiled water, get it to that consistency. And then I just piped it on top. Um, my custard rectangles were still slightly hot, so they um, it kind of melted away when it was drying, but it looks cute if I served it right then. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys.